I just wanted to create a quick video. Um, I had some trouble upgrading the firmware on my Crane V2 on my Mac. Um, but after a lot of trial and error, I, fa I finally figured it out and I just wanted to um, show you what I've learned so that hopefully it'll help you and you don't have to go through all the trouble I did. Um, before I begin though, I do want to say that there's, depending on your situation, there's probably a couple paths you can take. One is um, starting off with what Zenion recommends and then maybe sort of building upon that if things are not working. Um, and then the second one is if you are running um, Mac OS 10.14 um, Mojave or higher, it's going to be actually a lot easier and you don't have to go through um, <laughs> a lot of what they recommend. Um, and that's that's my case I'm because I'm running uh, Catalina. But anyways, let's go through the first sort of the first scenario. If, so if you are running OS 10.13 or below, this is what you want to do. And I'll provide a link to jump to sort of if you are um, in the second scenario, which is 10.14 Mojave or above. All right, so you want to go to the Zunion Tech website, uh, go to download section and firmware, which will take you to this page. Um, so one of the things you'll need is the calibration upgrade tool. This latest version is 1.3.5. Um, and then after you download that, the second thing you'll need is the firmware. Um, I have older Crane V2, so I'm going to go to more. And That'll take me to this page where I can search for my product. Um, so other than the firmware, I also need a USB driver. And the USB driver will basically allow me to see my crane. Um, it acts like a uh, USB serial port. Um, and so, um, yeah, so download those, those two things. Um, so let me show you what. So this is sort of the scenario one. Um, so this is the USB driver. And uh, this is the firmware and this is the gimbal tools. Um, this one, this is an interesting one because, um, so I installed the USB driver, I saw the gimbal tools and number one, the USB driver wasn't showing up for me. Um, gimbal tools was loading, but it, it wasn't seeing the, the, the USB um, serial port, but I went to uh, found an old uh, link on the Facebook Zinion Tech page, and unfortunately I lost the link. But they had actually provided some uh, older files to um, older versions of some of their their files. So I'll provide the link in the details, but. Um, so they have an older version of the Gimbal tools, which is interesting, 1.3.4. Um, but they also had this extra um, drive uh, or USB drives, um, which when you unload that, it's the Silicon Labs USB drivers. Um, so the, as far as I can tell, the the so there's a chipset that's used in the crane. It's the CH34 chips and it's very popular. Um, and I think this installs the USB drives for that. The Silicon Labs one is a VCP, a virtual COM port driver. So I think that allows you to see the USB port as a serial port. Um, so if the, this driver is not working for you, try installing the Silicon Labs one and see if that works for you. And the other thing is, Try to see if this is Gimbal Tools. Um, it, so once you get the USB port detected, try the, and it's still not seeing it in the 1.3.5, try this older version, 1.3.4. See if that works for you. The, the other thing that's interesting is looking at those drivers, they're actually not Xenion drivers. They're, like I said, the, the CH34 chipset's a very popular one. You can actually, download the latest versions for those. Um, so this is the OEM driver for the CH34 chipset. It's version 1.5. The Xenion one is 1 1.4. Um, and then for the Silicon Labs VCP driver, they are at um, 5.3.5. And I think the version they have is like that Xenion provides is um, version 4. So you can 
that's another step you can take. So after those drivers don't work, you can try the latest versions of these drivers. Now, the, the caveat is that, as I said before, if you are running um, Mojave 10.14 or later, you don't need any of these USB drivers at all because the, the built-in Apple OEM drivers, they already work. They, they will, if you have a sort of a, a device running uh, from a sort of serial to USB, whatever, uh, it will automatically work. And any sort of drivers you install on top of that, it's gonna possibly break it. So if you have done what I did, which was install these already, and you're running Mojave 10.14 or later, you have to get rid of those those drivers. And so they has a, they're telling you here that you can sort of run steps uh, one through three to get rid of those old drivers. So first you have to unload it. Um, and again, uh, so this is um, running terminal. So if you um, familiar with terminal, if not, it's pretty easy. You just basically copy this and you, you paste in and you have to put in your password. But um, you first unload the old drivers. Um, the They were actually in library extensions for me. I didn't have any in-system library. So um, I only had to run this one. And then afterwards you remove it, um, the old drivers. And um, again, it was just this one for me, but your case might be different. So after you've unloaded, after you removed it, you can restart the system and hopefully they're clean. It's clean. It's just running the Apple OEM ones. If you go to your, um, if, if you uh, connect your um, crane and you go to your system report and you go to USB, you should see something that says USB to serial or something like that. Uh, so, before we jump into um, what worked for me, let's sort of cover a few small details also about, or important but small details about what you need to do for connecting your crane for it to work. Um, and then we'll jump back to this. Okay, there's um, a few things you have to keep in mind. One is you absolutely have to use the cable that came with your crane. I've used, I mean, it's a standard, just sort of USB to USB micro, um, but I've used other cables and it just doesn't connect. You have to use this one. The other thing is it has to be connected to the port that's close to the joyst joystick. There's another port that's for um, the remote control, which is right by here. Um, but that's not going to work. It has to be the one by the joystick. Um, then when you go to turn it on, hold it down for a few seconds and then it'll glow and you can see like it's working. It'll push against you. You actually have to, in order for it to be checked, you have to be in um, sort of standby mode. And the way you do that is you hold down your remote button for a few seconds the light sort of goes off and it, for a bit and then it goes back to blinking and then you'll know that it's in standby mode when you sort of adjust it and it doesn't push back. And really that's um, sort of a few things you have to keep in mind other than the software. All right, so uh, back to this. Um, like I said, the... I am running Catalina, so I didn't need to install any USB drivers. The built-in ones already work, so I have to get rid of the old drivers that were installed by these that were recognized Xenian. So after they've been cleared out, um, and my I have my Xenian connected, and it's it's detecting it. The latest version of um, the gimbal tools 1.3.5 wasn't working for me, so I tried 1.3.4, and me uh, connect my gimbal real quick. All right, so I'm gonna run this 1.3.4, the older version. Uh, as you can see, the port is, the serial port is detected. I'm gonna click open. As you can see, it connects. It's running the numbers. As I adjust my gimbal, as you can see the numbers start changing dramatically. Then I'm gonna click firmware upgrade. From here, browse for the firmware 1.6 that I have. Um, here, click that. You can see it fills it all in, and I can just click upgrade and it'll upgrade it for
before me. <clears throat> now, there's a um, just an interesting other thing. Um, there's this third-party website, Mac USB Serial. They sell a lot of these um, chipsets for serial devices, and um, they have this app called Detect Serial. Uh, download uh, Serial Detect. You can download the Serial Detect app. <clears throat> It's interesting because what that will do is it will detect the um, serial. So if this is working and it detects it, but it's for some reason you're running the gimbal tools and it's not detecting it, then there's something wrong with the tools and you may want to try, sort of try the 1.34 versus 1.35 and see if that works for you. Um, yeah, so hopefully that helps you out and um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thanks.